All right, let's uh, welcome tonight's guests uh, to the show, Martin Compson, Phil McHugh and Alicia Dixon. Hi. <laughs> welcome, well, all of you now. Alicia, very much looking forward to uh, chatting to you about your new book in a moment, shortly. But uh, first, Martin, you've teamed up with your good pal Phil here for another road trip. Now, you've already explored your homeland, Scotland, but let's have a look at your latest adventure. I'm Martin Compson, and this is Norway. I'm back on the road with my good pal, Bill McHugh. Norway, we have arrived. We're getting to know Scotland's closest Scandi cousins better. <laughs> By exploring this epic country northwards to its very tip. It just looks incredible, I have to say, fellas. Uh, well, I think you kind of just touched on it there in, in terms of your, your Scandi cousins. Mm -hmm. um, is it because of, what, just the close nature to Norway and, and Scotland? Well, or? a lot of that, Jermaine, but it's, obviously being Scots, we go and search our son when we get a holiday, so we all <laughs> tend to head to Spain or Turkey, but so you never really think to go north, and I'm a bit ashamed it's taken us this long because, it's as you said, it's just stunningly beautiful. Yeah. Um, you forget how long it is as well. It's like five times the length of Scotland. But great people, a bit direct at times. Um, <laughs> but just, yeah, it, for us as well, this is a bit of a cheat, this show, for sure. You know, you're going on an adventure holiday with your pal. Um, so getting to do all that things, getting in with the wolves, zip lines, doing oil rig survival training, all that stuff. And he's a bit one for the fine dining <laughs> and spas and all that. Enjoy so the final life, for sure. <laughs> right. This is the thing, because, you know, Phil, you guys are obviously very good friends, but you have quite different ideas about what makes a good holiday activity, I think. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he's very, he's much more adventurous than me um, when it comes to kind of the adventure side of the programme. He's diving straight in there, up for anything, whereas I kind of like think about it and decide if I'm going to do that. But in fairness, I've been a lot more adventurous. Yeah, I've been better. Look at this. Before. Look at this. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's how we kicked off the show, actually, <laughs> in Oslo on a zip line. And scared of heights. And I, yeah, I was uh, terrified uh, beyond anything. I, but yeah, that's how we kicked off the we show. We've got, like, this is the, there's wee beautiful moments. I had a little GoPro, because obviously we had all this uh, crew at the top of that. And so I had a little GoPro and when he did it himself, he danced a wee jig at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> and it was the was lovely thing by to the end just of see it. how happy he was. <laughs> that, that, that is an amazing thing about kind of doing something like this together, though, isn't it? You kind of like drag one yeah. in, in a direction maybe yeah. they wouldn't, you know, choose to go and you get all of those experiences with it. Um, and part of that, at times, is uh, what these wolves, apparently. <laughs> What's yeah. this about? I mean, I, I love dogs, the pack but now. <laughs> this, is, this seemed a bit lively. This, this was, when you get through the kind of ideas of what we can do and stuff, this was number one on my list, because I, I, I definitely <laughs> looked at it and thought, I might never get if this. If you can, explain what they're doing here, because it's oh, interesting. We're just sort of in with it, like, but we got told, if you open your mouth and let them tongue you a little bit, then yeah. they, they like you a lot we'll more. Snog. I beg your pardon. Yeah, so you've got to kind of let them tongue in a bit, so it's a, it was a hairy winch. Um, <laughs> but it was, it, it really was, being in the middle of the one they started howl, howling like that, it really was a primal feeling. Yeah. Um, I, I, I'd never experienced anything like it. And one of the best things as well after that was um, Martin's son is really into wolves and animals mm. and he called him afterwards and the sheer excitement on yeah. his boy's face was just oh, beautiful. Amazing. It was Daddy so Brent lovely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's that. nice. <laughs> I mean, the, the two of you spent a while on the road together, yeah. obviously driving a lot. Who's in charge of the car stereo, Phil? Um, well, he does the driving, thankfully. He can't drive, so which is I, very handy. You know, I was him. born to be yeah. driven, as we know. <laughs> I, uh, I'm sure you'll understand that, I'm sure, right? <laughs> but um, in, when it comes to choosing the car, I'm definitely the pop guy. Yeah. I love Scandi Pop. I think it's brilliant, and they can produce some amazing tracks, whereas he's an indie boy. To but you extent. really got me into it. I got you into We it, were right? there... Uh, Eurovision was on, oh, and yeah. that's his mecca. Yeah. And it, so he got oh, me yes. through. Who's the Swedish girl we had on non-stop? Uh, oh, well, we Lorraine. had Dagny on, we had we Lorraine had, on yeah. a lot. What was the, who won that? What was that Swedish song? Yeah, that Lorraine. was Lorraine. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what a tune. What it's a, a brilliant man. song. Yeah. So, yeah, by the end of it, you were a bit sick of that one, weren't you? I was a bit <laughs> sick of it, but, but meeting Dagny, which he was, I said, that, that's why I think we kind of, we kind of dovetail quite well on the show. The stuff I was probably kind of a bit like, oh, Scandi Pops are, but she was so lovely yeah. and really talented, but seeing him and his element in the studio oh, having a wee so dance happy. with him and stuff was great. Yeah, I was yeah. a bit of a fan in the first place, so oh. actually get to hang out with yeah. it was, oh, 
That's really. cool. Well, Alicia, you're in your element here, obviously talking about Eurovision, but you also <laughs> have a scandalous connection to Norway. Uh, yeah. well, I, I, mean, I, I love Norway. Yeah. Back in the Mystique days, yeah. we got to travel there a lot and we got to work with Stargate, yeah. who are the most incredible producers from, from Norway. Oh, wow. And we actually wrote our biggest hit there, Scandalous. Oh, wow. So we used to uh, visit there. Yeah, yeah. That's like, so we had incredible memories from there. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. Well, they do side. make incredible pop music. Oh, they do. They're the best. Yeah. 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 It's, a, it's just a gorgeous place. To see, the food, we had to eat a, a sheep's head when we were there. Pardon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and don't forget the sheep's eye. The she well. yeah. did, you, did they make you eat reindeer out there? No, well, we, <laughs> had, we had, there was reindeer hot dogs when we got. Yeah. yeah we had love a hot it. dog, yeah. which was quite bizarre as well. Like, literally everywhere you went, it's just hot dogs. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's a... It's, They've got things sussed a bit, you know, yeah. like their infrastructure and they're, mm -hmm. they're ahead of the game with green energy and yeah. just reinvesting everything in, in their people and stuff. It's, it, uh, there's a lot I think we can we can take from them. Definitely. Yeah. A lot to learn for us, I think. Yeah. Uh, right, Martin and Phil's new series, Norwegian Fling, uh, starts next Thursday on BBC Scotland and next Friday on BBC Two. Uh, and all episodes will be available on iPlayer. Uh, right, still to come, Alicia will be telling us how she almost went off the rails when she found herself on a tram. Oh. Simon Cow. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> just got it. <laughs> Don't, don't what did I do? <laughs> First. Thank you. Uh, right, Leisha, time to talk about your new book. Uh, well, it features a little girl called Luna yes. uh, and our magical pets. Uh, yeah, tell us more. Yeah, very excited. Luna Wolf is back. This is the second book in the Luna Wolf Animal Wizard series. Um, for the young readers that read the first book, obviously she discovers her powers and these pets that can power up. Uh, she had lots of changes going on at home with her parents and with this book, now she is on a mission. There's some rogue pets out there. She's got to find the villain. It's action-packed. It's so much fun. And, uh, yeah, I'm thrilled that she's back. So, second time around. Yes. And, and what's new for Luna is that she's having to deal with her newfound fame because of the first book. I wonder whether your own experiences fed into that in the story. Um, not so much. <laughs> but there's no way that Luna could hide with all these incredible animals. Inevitably, she was going to have to deal with being famous as a result of the, the powers that she now has. So, But I think with the books, it's always important to have things that reflect real life. You know, you're writing for children and you can let your imagination run wild and you can have fun with it, but you also want these lovely subliminal messages in there that demonstrate challenges that they go through, whether it's changes at home within the family dynamic, whether it's having to deal with the media, whatever it might be. Mm. And Luna has to work through all of them like any regular person would, except she's got these incredible animals <laughs> that she gets to do it with. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, as you mentioned, alongside Luna, there are uh, some animals uh, involved yeah. in the story. Yeah. Uh, but the, one of them's inspired by a much-loved pet um, that you used to have. Yeah, so I rescued... Um, well, she's no longer with us anymore. Yeah. Her name was Daisy. Uh, I rescued her 13 years ago. Oh, there she is. Yeah, Look Daisy. at that little Aww. face. Uh, yeah, so when we were coming up with the illustrations for the book, I asked the illustrator to base the drawings off of Daisy because I had such a special bond with her. And Luna has an incredible Aww. bond with... Silver, who plays my former dog Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> now, but, but Alicia, this, Daisy wasn't the only dog that you've rescued. No. Numerous rescue dogs have yes. become members of your family. Yeah. And I need you to tell me everything about the Wolf Wagon. Yeah, if my mum's watching, she'll be cracking up. Um, we had seven dogs at one point. Oh, wow. wow. Which, once you, it's a bit like kids, once you get past two or three, it doesn't <laughs> really matter. Um, and we had so many dogs that my mum brought this second hand car, she ripped out all the seats. I don't know if she did it herself, actually. But, and we just put a load of blankets down for the dogs and they would all jump in there and we'd go off on lovely adventures with them and we called it the Wolf Wagon. Oh, yeah, it was wolf, cool. little wolf that, pack. That, it Maybe got us down pack. to Cornwall with no problems, yeah. Um, Martin, I mean, Phil's kind of touched on it a little bit of yourself. Have you have you always had a, a huge love of animals? Because you seemed, I mean, those wolves, you were close yeah, to taking them yeah. home by the looks well, of it at one point. That as well, by the way. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I have dogs, I've had dogs, I had two Alsatians growing up. And oh, I, I had an yeah. Alsatian Then they're beautiful, clever dogs. Yeah. And again, we had a lovely, a lovely pit bull king. Um, he passed away, but he was the most adorable dog. And, yeah. But they are, they just, I think, because they, they give you un unconditional love, isn't 100%. it? And it's coming home when you know, and you might be a bit down or somebody might be mad at you or something, they come home and That's they're right. waiting, jumping on yeah. you, licking and playing with you. And it's that thing, they just put a smile on your they face. They really do. That's why the Absolutely. girls love you so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, Alicia, I have to ask briefly, you've just finished filming this year's Britain's Got Talent yeah. auditions. Lots of animals there too. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's a very talented animals. Um, and also the judges, who, as yeah. usual, have been travelling in style. Any animals that not <laughs>
<laughs> they like yeah. you to get to the auditions by an unusual mode of yeah, transport. Yeah, they always surprise us. Every year we arrive in some bizarre form of transportation. This, oh, look at that one. I could barely fit in that one. Um, <laughs> This year it was a tram, which I was pleased about because I could fit in it and it was warm and we had a bit of entertainment on the tram oh. on our way to the uh, auditions. It was great fun. It's always like the circus has come to town when BGT <laughs> arrives and it was brilliant this year once again. Mm. Yeah. Looking forward to seeing that when it hits the screen. Yes. Are, are you still getting surprised? Always. Yeah. People are incredible. How long have you been doing it now? Uh, just over a decade, yes. but oh. people are incredible and they come up with the most bizarre things. It's, that, it's the, sh the yeah. gift that keeps on giving, yeah. literally. Yeah. Well, so, yeah, great fun. Can't wait to see it. Uh, well, oh, it's you. It's me. Doing? I, I was in the flat. <laughs> I was in the flat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> off. Alicia's new book, Luna Wolf, Code Danger, is out now. Now my turn. Mm -hmm. uh, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Uh, so, if I ask you to predict the future, mm -hmm. What does it look like? Well, I'm an optimist, as you know, so I like to imagine we're going to heal the planet and become a more compassionate species. <laughs> <laughs> that was not a joke, guys. Uh, it would be really great. Are an optimist. Uh, <laughs> Phil, you've been to Scotland, you've explored that with your BFF here, you've been to Norway. Where's next for the pair I mean, of you? They're, they're very similar, aren't they? Scotland and Norway, climate and mm. the way they look. So I think we have to find somewhere a bit more hot. Jamaica. Somewhere we're Yeah, I mean, yeah. the Caribbean would be great, but I think yeah. Australia, we'd like Australia to do Australia. Australia would be good. We'd love to do like Australia. Australia can, yeah. There's also a little bit of a Scotland tie there, you know, yeah. we can find that. And with Australians. Somewhere so. with the sun lounge. Somewhere with the sun lounge. Where are the fact that Beth is at animals all the time? Is that Australian? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Australia. I some... fancy a bit of that. <laughs> you can befriend a cassowary, by the way. Thank you so much to our wonderful guests tonight. Uh, yes, Angelica and Roman are here tomorrow and they'll be joined by Will Meller, Ellie Leach and Ali Plum. Have a great evening. Good night. Good night.